Hello and welcome to Geek Play Studio Tutorials. In these tutorials, we continue looking how we can create um, materials inside the view by using texture from Filter Forge. And again, I was discovered this great application um, recently. I discovered again. Let's put it this way. And a couple of things I find out very impressive. It's how many different free textures they have. It. It's thousands upon the thousands. And people creating them and submitting daily. So you cannot find almost anything you wanted. And uh, you can freely use it in your creations in a VU. Um, this application also have a very nice sale right now if you're interested. And I will provide link for this. But let's say right here what I want to do. I want to create right now some chain link fans. So you can go inside the filters and you can find. And they have some different type. But I want to just select this one. Okay, when you select it, all what you need to do, just click open and filter forge. It will open inside your application. Okay, let me go switch to just so we can preview. It will switch and open inside your application. And from this point, the application will remember. So you don't need to go back to the website. It will be in your collection at that point. So a couple of things. Um, you can go ahead and I like to create my image 1024 by 1024, but you can change depend on what resolution you want it. There are also a couple other things when we start creating as textures. I recommend to go inside the setting tab and be sure your seamless styling is enabled right here. In that case, when we start to creating tiling, they will tile very well right here on the edges. So you won't see any lines or any kind of weird look artifacts so we're right here let's um when we select the image let's save it and we go ahead and save in couple options so we will save as diffuse map we save as a bump map we don't need normal map for this but i want to say specular and also i want to say alpha map so we can remove those white spaces so let's first create diffuse map when it's done just go click save Okay, and we'll just create a um, diffuse map for this. Okay, wait a little bit. It's take time to render. Okay, next, after it's saved it, now we'll go ahead and switch to the bump map. Same when it's created, we click save. And we'll save this image as well. Okay, um, let's save a couple more. We'll go filter render and we'll save specular string okay let's click save okay and um one more we need to save it it's a uh, alpha so we'll create alpha we'll click on save image and we'll just save alpha image at this point okay right now we're ready going inside our view application so what I'm going to do is create a cube and stretch it. Okay, let's put it a little bit below. Okay, we also can make just slightly thinner. Okay, at this point, we go ahead and open our advanced material editor. And right here, how we did similar before we switch to map it picture. We'll go ahead and start loading our image that we just created. So we'll go diffuse, click open. Right here, I want to be sure a couple things at this point. We switch to bilinear, so we remove some JPEG compression artifacts, a little bit smoothing on this. We'll go to the bumps, go to edit function. And from this point, okay, we'll go ahead, add image, connect it grayscale and we'll go switch this image to our bump image we created as well in this let's add our highlights so we can do from here create it we'll also grayscale and we'll switch this one to highlights to our specular okay we also can add transparency from here this is one way or if you want you can go to transparency and click on this lighting this will apply global transparency so it's have it a little bit different so when we add image you notice sometimes by default it will create animated map image so we need just switch to the projected texture map and just 
delete this unneeded anymore node. We'll go ahead and we'll add now alpha. So one thing when I add alpha map at this point, let me skew a little bit. You notice right here we're actually removing white spaces, not black. So we need to invert that and invert inside this image. Uh, control, you will notice right here on top right you have an icon. So let's click on this. This will invert our image and now we have a correct look. As well, a um, couple things I want maybe to do at this point. Well, let's come back and I'll show you what I was meaning. So right now we have our image. Let's render. And you notice we have a chain link, but couple things here is different. The one is it's stretching, and next we have a two side right here. So all what we need to do is disable, actually enable one sided material. So now we have it only the link only on one side. Okay. Next, what I want to do it is uh, just kind of stretching on that. And let's go inside our material editor. And at this point right here, what I want to do it is decrease y to 0.5. Actually, you know, I see maybe it's a one and we need x to 0.5. Yeah. So, okay, right here 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5. Okay, let's click OK. And let's preview. So now we have a correct link about set. Okay, next what I'm going to do, it is, um, we have a bump map. Um, we don't need displacement for this because we're using alpha. Okay, so next what I want to do, it is go inside the highlights and increase a little bit on our highlights. Okay, a um, couple things, just beware when you start working. If you decide to add a reflection, you will start having artifacts to everything. Example, see if I increase, I have it like glowing around this. To remove this, you actually need to go inside global reflection and apply global reflection to the image. So you example, you can go ahead, select, um, we'll use the example alpha, or if you want it specular on this point. So we'll kind of matching, okay. Now, when you applied, okay, a couple of things I forgot to do. I need to set this one to 0.5. Okay. Now, when we start applying reflection at this point, it will apply to right places. So, example, right here we applied, and let's go to switch this one also to metallic. Let's click OK. We'll take our chain link, move it a little bit far away. And let's render. So right here we was creating our material. We apply different maps and we did this with alpha um, transparency maps and everything. So at this point, uh, let's do something more fun with this. So I'll just go ahead and uh, Just a little bit post right here. Okay, let's go move it and adjust a little bit up. Okay, we'll go ahead, copy this one, just alpha, alt and drag. Okay, we'll select two of those cubes. By default, we're using material that was before. I want to switch this to something metal. Well, maybe we can select some rusted metal for this. Okay, uh, maybe not. Just need to find something right looking for this point. Okay, let's group it together. Okay, let me duplicate it. We'll go right here. Copy on this side. Okay, it's kind of easy. You can see how very, very simply I'm doing. I'm just want to see showing how the transparency is actually works. So we'll go on the trees now and let's add maybe some trees to this. Okay, put it on the middle. 
Okay, take a little second. Okay, right here, my tree. Pop up. Okay, next we'll take our camera, move it. Preview, and let's click preview our simple preset. So you can see right here we created fans that we have alpha transparency going so we can see through those holes in our um, gauge. Same time again. If you want it, we can go ahead and um, scale down if you want it. So your cage will be look a little bit smaller, so a little bit less holes right here. But anyway, here's give you idea how you can use it. Not just normal texture. You also can use it with alpha to create um, different type texturing based with filter forge. Thank you for watching this tutorial from Geek at Play Studio. Please remember, visit us on the web is www.geekatplay.com.